Hello Kostas, Kalimera. 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 For a first uh, thank you, we are very happy that you agreed uh, to meet us and uh, tell uh, something more about your uh, homeland. Uh, but before we start talking about Greece, uh, we would like to know something more about uh, about you. Mm, uh, for example, about your football uh, image. Uh, you are perceived uh, as a very tough player, uh, very temperament, uh, yes, uh, hardworking, with a menaced uh, face. Uh, uh, but uh, I wonder, mm, what are you like of the pitch? Uh, I got the uh, impression that you are uh, very kind, uh, uh, with a, a big sense of humor, very sociable. Uh, can we talk about you, that you are typical Greek? Uh, first of all, it's my pleasure to be here. It's my pleasure to, uh, that we do something like this and uh, I can uh, speak to the people uh, how is Greece, how is Greek mentality, how, is, uh, the, the, how we behave as uh, persons. Uh, second, thank you for the <laughs> good words. Um, yeah. On the pitch, is, um, I always try to, to be my best. Uh, I know what is my strong uh, characteristic and of course I'm a player who likes to go to the duel, who likes to fight, who likes to give everything, my, my soul, my heart. And this is what makes me successful so far these years. But yeah, off the pitch, it's a different person. <laughs> it's a different thing, it's different... Um, mentality because um, I'm a guy who likes to enjoy my life. I, I'm a guy who likes to meet new people, uh, be around everyone, uh, making jokes, laugh, enjoy. Because uh, this is the, no this is the um, how to say, the meaning. The life. meaning of life. Yeah, yeah, the meaning of life is, is to enjoy and to be happy. So I will use one sentence that my mom and my wife used to say. Uh, I look tough, but inside I'm like a soft potato, you know. Okay. Like it's really, really, um, <gasps> my heart is really mm -hmm. soft, and I try to, to to do my best for everyone. You are all tattooed. Uh, tell me, is it uh, on a hobby, or maybe you treat it like a way to express yourself? Uh, listen, listen. In the beginning, when I was young, I start to to see. Uh, like people with tattoos a lot of around me because mm -hmm. I used to have a teammate Dibril Hisse. So he was full. Oh. And I start to look at him and I start to have the, uh, the impression of tattoo that is like something like it's nice. It's mm -hmm. nice to have art in your body. When I get I start to get older I, I I'm doing tattoo just because I like the art. In the beginning, maybe I had some things like I want to have in my body, with, which is meaningful for me. But most of my tattoos are just art. Mm -hmm. Like I, I want to have art in my body, and I want to, and I, I like also the um, uh, all the procedure of doing tattoo. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't I don't have problem with the pain. Yeah. Uh, with this. You, you don't you don't feel the pain. You I, feel, I but feel, I feel, but it's I, not a problem. I feel, but this mo in this moment I, I enjoy. Oh. <laughs> like I, I like this this moment more than than to have a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Like when I have it, it's okay. I have it. Okay. But always I think for the next one. Uh, we have a, a little surprise uh, for you. I like, uh, I we like are, surprises. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. We are going to take you to the Greek restaurant. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Here in Zabrze we have a Greek restaurant. Greek? Yeah. I know. I know. I've been there. Okay. So. <laughs> but I like I like this um, these surprises. You know, it's. Yes, meaningful. Uh, we will try some uh, traditional Greek uh, dishes mm -hmm. uh, and I hope you talk something more about customs, about uh, cultural co culture in, in your country. So, yeah, okay. can we go? Yeah, of course, of course. Can I try? Okay, yeah, of course. it's my pleasure. Yeah. This is my team. Lolo, opa, opa. Shromo, Siplak is missing, but this is my team. We drive together. But look, look, this guy has money, you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Kostas, uh, we are in a car uh, going to the um, restaurant. I think it's a good moment um, to say something about uh, driving in Greece. 
Uh, can you compare, for example, roads, uh, traffic, uh, or uh, especially um, temperament or skills, uh, Polish and uh, uh, Greek drivers? Um, there are not very similar things, I have to say. Oh, Ooh. accident. Accident, yeah, they do. But um, I have to say, Greeks and Polish drivers are good. Mm. It's they, nice to hear. Yeah, like they are good drivers. The problem with Greek drivers is that we are really rushing. Mm -hmm. Always in rush. Yes, and we are really like, um, how to say, even if you are in the light mm -hmm. and you are first, there is no chance that you don't hear like beep <laughs> from behind <laughs> all the time. Oh, like everybody want to go fast, 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 fast. And for example, you stay on the light and you see motor next to you. They want to go first in the light. Mm -hmm. Things like this you don't see in Poland. Uh, like they, in Poland, they are more respectful on uh, details. Okay. Like, so I think Greeks are more impatient. Yeah, we are really rushing and we are really like driving like um, WRC or form Formula One. Like they are going fast or on the zebras is always challenging. You were born in Corinth. It's a very old city uh, established uh, in ancient times, thousands of years, years ago. Uh, but I wonder uh, what is the nature of your home city uh, now? Is it a popular tourist destination or maybe it's a typical port city? Actually, uh, I have to say I'm like like half an hour Pugodzina mm -hmm. from, uh, from from Corinth from Corinthos uh, it's a, it's a small village uh, but um, I have to say all this uh, place like from Corinthos until my place and then all the way to Patra is a place that is uh, mainly um, based on uh, on the sea okay now, now we take a right okay um, like it's based on the sea, like my father is fisherman, mm -hmm. a lot of people is working on the sea. Uh, it's not so popular, I have to say, for um, tourists, because it's uh, like there is nothing special to see, mm -hmm. except if you are a tourist which you want to calm, to be calm, to, to, become, to enjoy yeah. the seaside and just stay on the sun. Okay. There is not, not, it's, not a, it's a good choice, yeah? Yeah, there's not many things to do, Just, like party, like mm -hmm. restaurants, like this, but it, there are a lot of, uh, let's say, Airbnbs or rooms that you can rent and you can just take your umbrella, go to the sea and just enjoy. Now it's not zebra. Yeah. In, in Poland, people don't go. You use, in Greece, we just... <laughs> so we are Ugreka. Greek re restaurant. Uh, how do you like the atmosphere, climate, or no. we hear uh, music? Greek looks a lot of a lot like Greek restaurant. A lot of uh, pinches, how to say, like things of uh, Greece. Greece, yeah. The blue color is always something connected. Like, yes, it's characteristic, you know. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's nice. We, I feel good here. You know, I feel good inside here. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Okay, uh, I hear that. Greek kitchen, Greek cuisine is uh, some kind of art for you. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Um, mainly, we we like to to have in our table a lot of different things, mm -hmm. a lot of color uh, based on uh, vegetables, based based of um, seafood, seafood, fish. Yeah, but I have to say that. Many people don't like to say this, but this is the reality. Greek food and Turkish food, they are very similar. Mm -hmm. Because um, many people, like in the past, they were living in uh, Istanbul, Izmir. Mm -hmm. So when they came back to Greece, they bring also many things uh, like type of food which is similar, like baklava. Mm -hmm. Some of them say that it's Turkish, some of them say that it's Greek. But in the end, it's the same food. You, you read uh, many. Uh, what can you recommend? Maybe souvlaki? 
it's a, it's a to, traditional. Say, yeah, I have to say, like, um, as a Greeks, we don't use to, when we go like big uh, company outside, like five, six persons. We never take a plate for uh, for myself. Okay. I will never like say, I want this. We also we stay together, all together here, and we say, okay, what do we take? Salad, this, this starter, and we choose three, four things, and we put it in the middle, and mm -hmm. we serve. Okay. And we always take a little bit less, so we can add something extra. Yes. And as Taste we, many dishes. Yeah, and as we, as the night or the lunch goes on, we just order, we drink, we order, and we just sp pass the time like can be five hours. Ooh. Like we can stay five hours on the table. Having something, one plate here, we share a little bit, we drink, we speak, we enjoy. Then when it finishes, we say, okay, what else? <laughs> Next one. And we keep going. This is something like we used to do when we go out to... to together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You played in uh, Panathinaikos. Yes. Yes, and I uh, wonder um, how this big uh, games, big matches, uh, derbies like uh, Pan Panathinaikos against uh, uh, AEG or big games against uh, Olympiakos looks like in Greece. War. Si similar to Poland? It's war. war. It's a war, yeah. First of all, something that we don't have in Greece anymore, you cannot go to play in a stadium of Olympiakos, let's say, with Panathinaikos fans. Okay. It's forbidden. Like what we had in uh, Ruh Stadium, we mm -hmm. had 2,000 and a half, yeah. no chance. Okay. It's war. No chance. Um, the, the biggest game is Panathinaikos Olympiakos. Olympiakos. It's, a, it's, it's not about the we, same... We cannot say it's a derby of the country, of, of yes. all Greece. Yes, yeah? it's not about the same city, mm -hmm. but it's the most traditional teams. So I, I wonder if you know uh, the ex-goalkeeper of Gurnik Zabrze who played uh, uh, for Panathinaikos, Josef Van Dijk. Yeah, of course, of course. It's a big legend for Panathinaikos. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, everybody loves him, him and Vazeha, Krzysztof Vazeha. Yeah, and for Panathinaikos are big legends, like uh, history for the club. And I know also one player who was in Gurnik, and I was with him in Academy of Panathinaikos, is Michal Koy. Oh, Michal. I was with yes, him yes, he one, was one year. Academy, team, yeah. yeah, I was teammate with him one year. Okay. Fantastic guy, fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Pozdrawiamy Michała bardzo serdecznie. We have a starters, we can uh, start to eat, uh, to taste uh, Greek's uh, uh, dishes. Uh, but uh, I uh, have to, I want to ask you, what do you miss most from your homeland? Maybe kitchen, maybe uh, family, weather? First of all, my family. Yeah, it's most it's, important. Yeah, it's, it's natural, it's, yeah. Yeah, uh, but then after is the sun. Sun is something that I like and I really appreciate it when I left mm -hmm. Greece because when you miss something then you understand how important it is. Uh, and then I have to say that uh, I also miss a little bit of our Easter in oh, Greece. Easter, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, when we talk about Easter, uh, I have written an article about, about Poles uh, uh, who lives in Greece uh, and they um, uh, very often say, they used to say, Mm, quote, uh, uh, if uh, Christmas, that only in Poland, but they love to spend Easter in Greece. What is so special about Easter in Greece? Um, in our culture, Easter is bigger than Christmas. Mm -hmm. We celebrate more. It's everything connected on our uh, tradition, on our uh, culture and on, on our uh, weather. Mainly our Easter is closer to the summer, mm -hmm. to summer. Yes. so the weather is good and it helps to, to um, do our tradition. So let's say that uh, basically it's 40 days of uh, fasting mm -hmm. 
you can eat specific things yes. before uh, Saturday, mm -hmm. Saturday night. But the biggest fasting is the last week, mm -hmm. from Monday until Saturday. Yes. So, for us, Saturday night is reborn of Jesus, and then we break the fasting. And we celebrate with traditional food, eggs, stuff like this. Mm -hmm. But the next day is the most important. The next day is a day that it starts mainly around 5, 6, and it finishes like really late. Mm -hmm. You all, all day of the celebration. All day celebrate, but mainly eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. So it's big, big grill barbecue with a lot of, uh, with big whole lamp. It's uh, traditional uh, food. And it's also um, good because we can connect all together because it's everywhere and you can even leave your, your uh, house or uh, let's say your terrace mm -hmm. and you can go to your friend. You go there, you enjoy with them. Then maybe they enjoy, they come to enjoy with you. So we are you like... visit each other, yes. Yes, we are open, we open our houses to celebrate this day this big day for us, for uh, Christian Orthodox, we open our houses and we give to our friends and even to the strangers mm. food and drink to enjoy. Słuchajcie, dla obcych, czyli e, również dla nas, dla gości z Polski, jak święta wielkanocne, no to koniecznie w Grecji. You like to meet uh, with your friends, uh, you like to sing, you like to uh, eat, and you like to dance. Uh, I know that there is over 150 traditional dances uh, in Can Greece. Can be, almost, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> we all know in Poland uh, Zorba dance, yes? Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's connected It's with the traditional dance of butchers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. uh, do you know some other dance? Ah, uh, to be honest, because I'm not a very traditional uh -huh. guy, uh, I don't know. I know two, three dance to okay. to dance, but we don't want to show us. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what I know is like uh, is the way of expression mm -hmm. in Greece and. You can see in our way of dancing and in our um, songs, it depends on the place. The you, region? On the region, yes, in Greece. More south, more fast. Mm -hmm. And more um, light dance. Always, there are not many uh, type of dance that you dance alone. It's always like group of people. Mm -hmm. But when you go more north, start to get heavier and the, and the song are slower okay. and the dance are more heavy people are more close and they are start to dance this I, this is like i don't know exactly to explain you why but i think this is um, based on um, the past and what certain people and certain region have mm -hmm. in the history in the history but yeah i think um, you will see, for example, Eastern, we were talking about this before. You will see people after the third, fourth drink, <laughs> they just volume up, they stand up, they dance. Yes. It's a way of expression. It's a, a way to show that we are happy. Słuchajcie, drodzy kibice, widzicie, że już praktycznie w większości talerze są wyczyszczone. Była to wspaniała grecka uczta. Uspokajamy, to nie tylko Kostas i ja. Te wszystkie potrawy razem pałaszowaliśmy. Pomagała nam nasza cała ekipa pracująca przy tym materiale. Ja mam nadzieję, że dzięki temu reportażowi no, nabraliście jeszcze więcej sentymentu i sympatii do Grecji, że e, okazuje się, m, że warto ten kraj odwiedzić, e, że jest to kraj wspaniałych, otwartych, serdecznych, uśmiechniętych ludzi, e, a jeżeli no, nie możecie z różnych przyczyn wybrać się do Grecji e, w te wakacje, no to klimat grecki i klimat greckiej kuchni możecie m, poczuć i posmakować tutaj w Zabrzu, w restauracji u Greka. E, no, my jesteśmy bardzo zadowoleni, Zadowoleni. 
How do you like? Ja, to było bardzo dobrze. Bardzo dobrze, bardzo, bardzo dobrze. Fantastycznie. Ocena Kostasa mówi chyba wszystko. Tak więc zapraszamy, no i do zobaczenia w kolejnych odcinkach programu Poznaj mój kraj.